So it's like noon on Sunday, August 5th, is it? Or 6th. But I'm out fishing. I'm at a creek. I'm just going to fish some different spots than what I've been fishing on my local creek. This is actually a tributary to the creek where they did some habitat work, which was kind of a waste of money in my opinion because it is almost all filled in with silt and is really shallow and is full of weeds. This creek, I think, has quite a bit of erosion in the upper part of its creek and it carries quite a high load of silt at time because this soil, this is in like glacial till formed from glacial till with some lust on top of it and the lust, if it, the lust is kind of highly erodible, especially if it's poorly managed. So there's quite a bit of sediment in it and this creek has a soft bottom, which makes it difficult to fish. And this spot is all grown over with reed canary grass. Let's see what we catch. It does not look like that many people have been back in here. Ooh, it's fishable right here. Kind of dirty. It looks like no one's been fishing back here though. <laughs> Holy crap, it's gotten really growing up back in here. I haven't been back in this spot for a long time. It's turned into just downright a jungle here. Holy crap, this water's cold. And really hard to cast in. No idea what's up here. There's a fish. Is that a rainbow? We got a stalker. At least we didn't get skunked up this spot. We'll let this guy go and keep on fishing. The swamp's four feet deep and now it's like two feet of weeds and silt. This is a brownie. Little guy though. Still a fish. Trout number two. Another dink. It's a brown, yeah, it's a brown. So now we're finding dinks. I was hoping to find some like 16 inch fish, not these fish. 
but we're still getting fish. Holy fuck, that was a, quite the hit. That's the type of hit you want. That's a nicer fish, too. That fish just came from right there and just crushed it. That was an awesome hit. That's a better size brownie. Let's let up some line and let him go. I knew there'd be fish up in here. I knew there'd be a couple decent ones, too. This is tough wading, but you end up with browns like this from it. So let's get her go. And all of a sudden there's fish. That's weird. Like I didn't have any hits in the lower part and all of a sudden up here we're getting bites. This spot started off rough but finished strong. We found the fish in this little panther martin. We ended up with four fish. Had like six or seven bites. Guess it's worth the coming here. Just stick with what you think will work and it will eventually work a lot of the times. So that was the key to success. So this is the most popular spot to fish on this creek. From this bridge where I'm at downstream, it's actually artificial lures and trout have to be over 12 inches and above here you can use any tactic and they have to be over 8 inches. We're going to start fishing up from this bridge. Understand why there's not more fish down here. I never do that well down here. Our goal is to wade up to the sewer plant. Oh, that, there's a hit on the spinner. That was a decent sized one too. So I've been back from fishing for like a half an hour. The last spot was the worst hookup rate I've ever had on trout. They were just crushing the number five perch colored countdown and the number six gold colored husky jerk and I just could not keep them hooked. They'd like hit and then go to set the hook and I'd miss them and I, or I'd lose them. They're just not staying on the hook, and some of them like hit at the bait like three times. It was a frustrated, frust, very, very frustrating. I was gonna do a catch and cook, so I'm gonna cook up these two browns I kept, and I may just do an exploring video and do a cooking video and just have very short editing of me catching the fish and saying what I caught them on, because I like keeping my videos under five minutes. So the bat other battery must have had in my camera must have not been charged or my must have hit forgot to hit a recorder or something because at the second spot in the creek I started fishing and I threw a spinner Panther Martin for a while and I just had that one hit on it and I figured there should be more fish than that on there and then I tried a rooster tail and I didn't have any hits on that 
And then I decided to switch to a uh, number six husky jerk. And I had like a dozen hits on that. And I caught one dinky fish on it. And then I switched back to a spinner just thinking that I found the fish. And the spinner was dead as I kept wading upstream. And then I switched back to the jointed, the same number six husky jerk. And I kept getting a bunch more bites and I caught another fish on it and missed a whole bunch more and lost a few and then I put on a countdown and then I caught like three more on that and then I lost like 20 fish on that bait so there's definitely tons of tons of fish just up from where I finished recording in this creek unfortunately my hookup rate was bad I Probably should try sharp, sharpen up the hooks on the bait or put new treble hooks on those baits to increase the hookup ratio, which I haven't done. So that I know the one countdown I had with that was purse colored was had pretty dull hooks. I'm sorry I don't have video of it, but and I really wish I did. And those are all balls that I found in the creek and things I found in the creek. So thanks for watching this episode of Musky Hands of Doors, and please subscribe to my channel if you like my videos.